Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Show season is upon us again, and the New York Auto Show is not without reveals and new vehicles, redesigned vehicles, and a lot of stuff to see. And Hyundai was there with a redesigned 2025 Tucson, their most popular model. The Hyundai Tucson is the brand's top-selling vehicle. For 2025, they have carefully sweetened the pot to freshen it up and add more spice, but not too much, as they wouldn't want to ruin a good thing. In such, it has updated styling inside and out with more tech features than ever before. It's what you wanted, right? Well, let's have a look and see. The Hyundai Tucson is already a sharp and progressive design to begin with, so for 2025, they simply refined and evolved the details here and there to please the eye with even more. There's a new grille and new daytime light signature. It gets a new front and rear bumper fascia, revised wheel designs on all trims, and updated emblems all around. The perfect recipe for just a fresher new look. Bolder and simplified design details create a more rugged appeal, especially on the off-road themed XRT trim grade we're looking at here. It features a more robust collection of body cladding design details that might wear a little better out there in the brush and dirt than some of the more streetwise trim treatments found on other trim grades. Inside is where the biggest news is with its completely redesigned dash that features Hyundai's new corporate look of a dual screen cockpit layout featuring an available 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and a 12.3-infotainment display screen. The center stack is also new and gets hard controls to augment the touchscreens for commonly used functions. My favorite! Also redesigned on all trims is the center console, steering wheel, and door panel trims. Upper trim grades now have an electronic column-mounted gear selector toggle that allows even more space to be had on the new center console. An upgraded array of infotainment systems now features wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay regardless of which trim grade you choose. That wasn't always the case. Available is a new 12-inch color head-up display that can even project turn-by-turn -turn navigation data on the windshield. Also pulled from higher-end Hyundai models is an available biometric fingerprint sensor that allows for extra security and convenience to get behind the wheel and motor on even if you don't have your key with you. Powering the 2025 Tucson is a familiar family of choices. Quite a few of them, in fact. There's the standard 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder with 187 horsepower and an eight-speed automatic transmission, available with both front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. Then there are the popular 1.6 liter turbocharged hybrid and plug-in hybrid variants which offer heightened efficiency with commendable power levels and a more traditional driving experience than most hybrids offer because of its traditional 6-speed automatic transmission. The hybrid has 178 horsepower and the plug-in hybrid has a downright impressive 268 horsepower because it has a much more powerful battery and electrical components. Both hybrid and plug-in hybrid models are standard with all-wheel drive. The 2025 Hyundai Tucson models with a 2.5 liter engine come to dealerships early this summer with hybrid and plug-in hybrid rolling out closer to the fall. Final pricing will be announced closer to that time. There it is, just a little nip and tuck, and smartly so, I might add. When you have a popular top-selling vehicle, you want to freshen it up, but you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to change it so much that you lose the golden goose, right? And so I think they've threaded the needle pretty good here. They've given us just a little bit more of what the buyers are out there wanting and kept what they do like pretty much the same. And so obviously we'll be test driving this a little bit later in the summer. Until then, you can see our reviews of this vehicle, the current model, out there on our YouTube channel, both the hybrid and the regular gas models. Until we do that test drive though, you can see our latest video right there, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and stay informed of when the test drives come.